Hello, I'm Nurox, and I'm going to be giving you a story today on how I got this hat. This hat has been in my possession since I was in sixth grade. Why um, me having this hat is important is because it commemorates a very fun story that happened to me when I was in sixth grade. When I was in sixth grade, I went to a private Christian school and we all had to show up at like 7.30 or like somewhere. Like it was super early, we all had to get there for a field trip. The thing is, we're all going to SeaWorld. But when we got there, my group had none of my friends in it. I wanted to join the other group. The whole time I was talking to the other group, and then we separated. I was so bored in my group. There was no one I liked in my group. Which meant, like, I was not fitting in, I was not getting any of the jokes. I was just an outcast. I was not in the group. So I wanted to join the other group. I asked my group if I can ask their group if I can join their group because my friends are in that group. When I asked, um, my group said that I could ask them. So when I go and ask them, they said no. I turn around, my group left me. Like they're gone, totally gone. Turn around again, the group I was asking before, they're gone. So I'm just sitting here, all alone, in the middle of SeaWorld, right in front of the Kraken. I don't know what to do. I did sit there for about maybe five minutes, waiting for them. I'm just waiting for someone to realize I'm missing. They didn't realize I'm missing soon enough, apparently. So, when I did, um, what I did next was kind of irresponsible. I left. I just left. And I just went to a lot of different places in the park. You know, like the penguin exhibit, the major rides, the kraken that I was in front of, I went on that. After all of this, I actually caught up with one of my friends and he was uh, going to the penguin exhibit I already went to. So I was like, oh, man, I gotta go back to this penguin exhibit. What he told me next, I will never forget. He said, your teacher, oh, I don't wanna say my teacher's name because it's my teacher's name, but let's just call her Miss Helsinki. Miss Helsinki is at the end of the penguin exhibit. Now I'm thinking to myself, holy crap, I'm gonna die. She's gonna kill me. She's probably looking for me for probably 30 minutes. Okay, so Penguin Exhibit's over, and I look outside. She is standing out there with her arms folded and her toe tapping. And, like, I could just imagine steam coming out of her head, and she was pissed. I walk outside, and <laughs> I was terrified. She, um, she went up to me, and I went up to her. We were both going up, and we met in the middle, but she was mad. She told me, I've been looking for you for an hour, now I have to leave. So I was like, okay, it was a good thing and a bad thing because she had to leave, so I didn't get in that much trouble, but she had to leave, which meant she was going back to school, which meant I could still be in trouble. But before she left, she told me, you're gonna get in trouble when you go back to school. So I was kind of screwed, just in the middle, just both ways screwed. So. I get up to a group of mine that was like, it had some of my acquaintances slash friends, but before we left, I got this hat, just so I could tell people about what happened with this hat. But the story doesn't stop there. The story stops when I go back to school. The car ride back was just, it was kind of silent until um, people in the car start asking me about what happened, because they apparently heard of what, what I did. And I started telling my story, and it was hilarious to them. So I got that story out of my system, and we got back to school. Show up, I go to, um, I go to the front desk. Like I thought she already knew. I thought everyone in school already knew that I got lost in SeaWorld, and I was going to get expelled. I go up to the front desk, and I talk to her, and she was like, How was SeaWorld? I was like, It was interesting. So my mom works at this school, right? And I go to her classroom. She asked, she told me, did you get lost in SeaWorld? I was like, mm-hmm. She was like, why? I was like, I don't know. They left me. They just lost me. She, I told her the story. I told her everything. Nothing happened. No, like, trouble, no problems, no nothing. I got off with getting lost in SeaWorld. That's how it ends. Bye.